One more time, let me hold my arms around you. Se vidimo, kako čas pri te pogledat. Ja, želim ti srečno pot. Srečno vsi! Srečno, srečno vožnjo! Friday, 2023, September 15th. It is the first day of our travel. We are somewhere near Postojna, Slovenia. And being a Friday, which is ruled by Master Shuker, Planet Venus, I think it was, it was a good day for a start. We also experienced a few, not just one, but a few good omens. For example, a truck driver was uh, blinking, blending me. I don't, know how, I don't know how to say in English. I think it's, it's blink. I think it's blinking me with the lights, which usually don't happen. Usually they horn like move away, you asshole, you know. And 10 minutes ago, I met an Englishman, a, a guy from England who lives here in Slovenia for 15 years. We were talking, he was very nice. And there were a few more very good omens. So I will take this as a very good omen, I guess. Uh, we are heading towards Italy, the, the first country we will pass on our way. Have I told you we are going to Africa? Yeah, I know Africans are uh, immigrating to Europe. Me, silly me, getting into Africa. thinking my friends maybe we should call our channel graveyards of the Europe because as you can see we again slept at our first choice the graveyard I can easily say as we all know that cemeteries graveyards are usually quiet this one, as you can hear, is not. There is a local road nearby and it was noisy all night, although I slept like a baby. Woohoo! <laughs> Hallelujah! At least they are not crowded. Graveyards. Wait a minute! They are crowded! Yeah, you're right. This is the morning of day 2, uh, 2023, September 16th. We, are, we slept in Copper Capodistria at the graveyard. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we leave the home ground and cross the border to Italy. Very soon, it's very close. Let's go! We are charging in a full open configuration because I had to stop because of an extreme uphill and I got tired and the lady passed. I asked if this is the right way to Italy and she said no, oops, the dirt is Trieste, Trst in Slovenian. And that, on the other side, is uh, Copar Capodistria and, of course, Adriatic Sea. So, 
we need to go back down. There was a table, I just followed the table that said Italy. <laughs> and I turned uh, uh, right. And it was wrong, so we have to go back. We need to stop at Decathlon store and buy a new bottle. Because this one gave up a co cooperation. It cannot be closed anymore, it's broken. Yeah! September 17th, 7 in the morning. We are at the top of the Adriatic Sea, uh, which is also the bottom of the Italy. Not the whole Italy, the East Italy. And we have 100 kilometers uh, to do today to reach Venezia. So, let's go. Oh! I guess I don't have to explicitly tell tell you we are in a graveyard. Yep. This is where we slept. Yesterday we met a nice guy. His name was Marco. And he was waiting by this road, parked car with a momento. Momento. with a bag of dried apricots in his hand and he was stopping me you know okay he gave me he gave me the food and Marco this is top shit present top shit gift I love it I ate it yesterday in the evening and it's so sweet, so tasty, I cannot believe it. You're a great guy. Thank you very much. There are also a few Italian guys who are doing this. And I think it means you will have a lot of money and a wonderful wife. Not actually means something like a middle finger but hey we are cheating a little because i found electrical outlet working we will charge for an hour and then we off we go the sun should be there but would you know there is no sun good morning we are near Ravenna, in Italy. It is day five. And we slept near the main road, as usual. <laughs> Nevertheless, I was so tired as that I again slept like a baby. We are in full charging configuration now because the battery is drained completely uh, before I forget the topic of the day 3 was can we arrive speed above 10 km per hour and maintain and oh yeah we can as long as the battery is well charged decently we can easily achieve 15 kilometers per hour and that's quite a ni nice speed for our vehicle we found a nice place for lunch and we will use it also for our charging and this is a nice place Tropicana si certo We are about 30 kilometers from uh, Bologna. Extremely lovely place. It's like a little heaven. I love it. Very nice. I could easily live in a place like that. It is around four o'clock in the afternoon and we arrived very close to Bologna, a few kilometers before Bologna. And I have found a big church. It looks like deserted. What's more important, 
it's got water right there and it's got some table right here in the shadow and a nice parking place for our Tomb Rider.